Hi there, welcome to Chandu.org YouTube channel. Recently, my iPhone 4, uh, which is about three and a half years old, has crashed. I have no idea what happened to it. It won't start. Anytime I press the start button, the whole thing would just stop at Apple logo and then just restart. Eventually, the battery would drain out and it won't even start. So I charge it again, the cycle repeats. And I had no idea what was going on with it. Um, so I thought, uh, you know, while I figure out what was wrong with it and probably take it to the the Apple service center here, I thought maybe I'll just uh, take out the SIM card and uh, pop it in my old phone so that I can still make and receive calls. Uh, but the challenge is uh, when I when I when I took the SIM card and installed it in my old Nokia phone, none of my contacts were on on it and. And I ended up uh, thinking, you know, how do I get all my contacts, which uh, which are probably a few hundred of them, uh, so that I can make quick calls to them. Or if somebody calls, at least I know who is calling me. So I went to iCloud to download it. Uh, and then I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I can take the iPhone contacts and export it to an Excel workbook so that uh, I can save them for future reference and also probably have a little bit of challenge you know doing that whole thing so here i have built a template for you uh, if you are in a similar situation where you need to export contacts from iphone to an excel workbook for for you know any reason like archival or, or sharing the contacts with colleagues or anything like that or the other way around that is you have the contacts in excel and you want to make a vcf file uh, which can be imported into an iPhone. Uh, this template will help you do the both. Uh, it has two tabs, export and import. Uh, let me quickly tell you what what happens, how to use it. Uh, if you want to export your iPhone contacts to an Excel workbook, all you have to do is first log into your iCloud. Uh, this is how it looks like. Uh, before you, you go through this step, you must back up your contacts to iCloud, which I think is by default available on all iPhone all iPhones but you know you check with your iPhone and so you back up the contacts to iPhone and I had my backup there so even if my phone wasn't working I could still access iCloud and uh, click on the contacts thing and uh, that will open up your contacts so all the all the contacts that you have in your iCloud whatever you have backed up they'll show up here and uh, what you need to do is select all the contacts by default if you if you export it will only export the currently selected contact so you need to select all the contacts this is very simple with the first one is already selected you use the scroll bar to go all the way down and uh, hold the shift key and select it as if you're selecting a bunch of items once you selected the items you click on this little gear icon there and export Okay, so that will export a vCard file. Uh, the extension would be .vcf and you save this on your desktop or on your computer somewhere. And then come back to this this thing. Um, open up the .vcf or .vcard file that you just saved. You can open it in Notepad. Uh, when you open it, it looks, uh, it looks like a bunch of text with some sort of a specific formatting. You won't understand what was there unless you have some prior experience with that file just select everything in notepad come to the template and select the first cell paste here as values okay just paste it it by default it will paste as values if you have some difficulty paste it as values here so uh, i have already pasted something here so that you can see once you do that automatically the name and the phone number will be fetched and shown in this table now, if a particular name has multiple phone numbers attached to it, which is possible in iPhone, all of them will show up here. Uh, it supports up to six phone numbers. Uh, most of my contacts, we only I have I only have one phone number, and in some places I had two or three, so six is good enough for me, and uh, it should be good enough for most of us. So it will show the name, it will show the numbers there. Once all these contacts are extracted here if you just want only the names and phone numbers you don't want all of these blank rows uh, very simple just uh, enable the filters you can uh, you can enable filters on this table and filter the names so that all the blanks are removed 
okay and that's it there there is a list of your names and contact numbers copy them and uh, you know you can save them as a csv or a workbook or whatever you want you just do that okay so that's simple using this template you can take the vcard file extract only the names and phone numbers and put them there this thing does not support some additional features for example in your iphone you could uh, uh, attach an email address or web page or a photo or any of those kind of things to the contacts but this one just shows the names and phone numbers which is the most important for, part for me okay now let's just quickly take a look at the other aspect which is importing so imagine you have a contact list from your crm system or from your company database or you know whatever could be the reason you just have the names and phone numbers so arrange your data like this just type the data or paste it or you know have it entered by somebody the names first name last name and the phone number you can just type the phone number it will automatically format it for you and once you once you do that once you are done with typing simply copy the vcf to copy from cell h4 just use shift control down arrow copy everything uh, this thing the export uh, import tab supports up to 200 contacts at a time so you can have 200 contacts and uh, copy this and uh, just open up notepad paste it there okay this is uh, it supports up to 200 uh, the contacts will be there we only have nine so it shows up all the way on the top and then there will be some blank lines at the bottom you can safely ignore them save this file and uh, you know just give the name whatever you want to give it uh, a name the extinction should be dot vcf vcf for i guess visiting card format and save it and then go back to your itunes and uh, where you saw export you can import and uh, this will ask you hey what's the vcf file name and just point it and those contacts will be imported to your iphone so once they are in your iCloud, you, you take out your iPhone and uh, I guess whenever you are reconnected to internet on your iPhone, it will automatically fetch those contacts and show them in, in your iPhone. So that's it. Now, if you are curious to know how this whole thing is really working, feel free to examine this file. Please visit chendu.org. There is a link in the description of this video that I'm going to paste. Uh, that will take you to the article that explains how this template is used and uh, how you can understand it and you can download the template from there and uh, you can unhide the columns there are a few columns hidden after j and between b and d and that kind of explain the formula logic behind this what is going on how these calculations are done both for exporting and importing importing is uh, though you can see the formulas here they are pretty long but uh, if you pay some attention you can easily understand there are also two columns hidden there e and between e and h if you unhide them you can see those calculations so that's about it i hope you uh, you enjoy this template and you use it uh, uh, i'm not hoping that your iphone will crash but uh, you oh, know we can never predict so it's always a good idea to have the backup of contacts in some place safe like excel workbook <laughs> and it's a lot of fun doing this so just go ahead and download it and play with it thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you again soon Bye bye